Hello everyone and welcome to another tips video by me King Blacktooth. Aidon is our subject today. After the uh, hard time I had on the last couple of matches we're going to try and learn how to deal with him. Now here are the contents of the video. First we're going to go over Aidon's strengths and weaknesses and then I'm going to go straight into safe jumps and knockdown specifics because there's some very important stuff I need to discuss there. And then I'm going to go into your ultra choices. You've only got two choices but I'm going to go into which ones are good and what they're good for. Then I'm just going to go into Adon's special moves, pretty much all of them. Air Jaguar Kick, Jaguar Kick, Rising Jaguar, Jaguar Tooth. There's enough Jaguars for you. Um, and then I'm going to go on to small little things, beginning a match and what I like to do. Adon's ultras and a little extra thing which is Adon's fuzzy guard that you have to watch out for. Okay. So let's begin. We're going to begin with Adon's strengths and weaknesses as a character. To begin with, he has a great overhead attack. It hits twice and it can be comboed afterwards, I believe. He has a multitude of armor breakers, including his standing heavy kick, his overhead because they hit twice. He has special moves, which are armor breakers, even his rising jaguar, which isn't an armor breaker, but hits twice. So he's got a lot of them. He has a fast walk speed strong pokes and footsy game, great offensive pressure, he has decent mix-up tactics and he has several safe special moves. Now his weaknesses are that he has below average health, not too much but just a little bit. He has a linear playstyle that means he's not very good at adapting, he's going to be doing the same thing pretty much throughout the entire fight, which is pressuring you. He is FADC reliant for high damage combos, basically just FADCing into another rising jaguar basically and uh, grapplers punish him easily and uh, the last time I checked we are not a grappler we are not Zangoken okay so uh, forget about that one okay so now that's done let's go into safe jumps and knockdown specifics now the reason I wanted to talk about this first is because Adon is peculiar if he lands on his front which from a throw he does he gets one frame of extra invincibility which means your standard safe jump setup seems to miss. That looked like it should hit to me, but it misses. It can be safe jump, but you have to delay it like one frame. Okay, so that's it's really difficult. I found it very hard to do this. Um, and that probably explains why I kept missing and getting caught in the in the videos. So if he lands on his front, he gets one frame of extra invincibility. But you can safe jump him, it's just a lot harder to safe jump him. If he's on his back like so, you can do it as normal. He doesn't gain any invincibility and so you just safe jump as normal. A sweep will do that and a hard knockdown from most of the things will land him on his back. Okay, and if you throw him, there are some things you can do if you don't want to do the safe jump step, which is pretty difficult. If you do a double dash forward and then a dive kick, a jumping dive kick, you can stuff his uh, rising jaguars or you can basically just whiff them, like so. He's got a very forward momentum. He, you want to try and stay above his character. Okay, that's going to be hard to punish that EX one. Another thing you can do is dash forward twice and just do a jumping light kick. You want to try and aim for the top of his character, like I said, because his Jaguar kicks, um, they don't go up, they go sort of forward. Um, I did find this one a little difficult. I kept getting a uh, auto-corrected Rising Jaguar when I tested it, but it is possible, as you can see here. And the EX, which is going to be pretty difficult to punish. Another thing you can do, which I saw from a ball cap video, is if you do a back throw into a jumping medium punch, two hits, and then do light kick demon flips, uh, you'll be kind of a safe jump there. It doesn't hit him, so it's not a safe jump per se, but it really messes up his directions, and uh, like so, and so it's hard to sort of figure out what's going on. If he quick rises, the first one will do the job. If he doesn't, the second one will do the job. Okay, now we're on to ultra choices. These are your ultra choices. Um, the first one you've got is obviously ultra one. Ultra one can be used to punish Jaguar tooths um, on reaction, you know. But there is a risk. You do a lot of damage, and it's pretty damn good to stop them from doing it. But there's a risk of him baiting you, pretty much, like so, with a light kick version. And you can punish uh, Jaguar kick as well. But again, you could miss space them. He can like basically do any space he wants so you can miss space them like that. Okay and the next ultra you want is Ultra 2 of course. You can punish any Jaguar tooth with an Ultra 2. 
As soon as he goes up to the corners, do your ultra, speed it up, and you'll hit him. With this heavy kick version, he seems to hit you and you can't follow it up. It can be timed so you don't get hit, but it seems like a trade more often than not. Unless you're on like no health, you shouldn't have to worry about that. But if he, even if he does an EX, the EX travels faster so you've still got your invincibility from your ultra and it can be followed up. Because it travels faster, he's on the ground by the time you've got it out, so you can follow that up. And again, it can be done on reaction. And even if he does a light kick version, you can punish it, which is pretty cool, um, and you can follow it up as well. Now you may be thinking that perhaps that was a bit too fast, because obviously I know he's going to do that because I've programmed him to. But even if he does it quite late, and you do it quite late, you can still catch him with it. So I say Ultra 2 is probably the best choice. Okay, now I want to talk about his special moves. First, we're going to begin with his Air Jaguar Kick. Now, his normal Jaguar Kicks are armor breaking, but his Air Jaguar Kick is not, so you can parry and focus attack these, like so. Now, at the range that you saw there, it's probably the best time that you want to do it. He can't hit you with anything else, so on a neutral jump anyway. If he's neutral jumping, then you might as well focus and backdash if he doesn't. However, you do have to worry about him landing and then doing an EX Jaguar kick, normal one, because that will break your focus attack, and it's pretty hard to backdash. But there, I've replicated this quite a few times, actually, where I, I backdash completely unscathed. So that is a thing, but you want to be careful of the EX Jaguar kick after he neutral jumps. Again, this is showing that parries are viable against Jaguar kicks, but they're probably not the punish that you want to go to, because... If he doesn't do a Jaguar kick, you'll time it wrong because he should be doing a normal. So you'll time it for the normal, if he does a Jaguar kick, it'll delay and hit you. The main thing that you want to go for is just near tactical like him. That um, even if he does it, you'll get him. If he doesn't, you'll get him. You know, it seems like a win win, but it does require EX, of course. So an EX tactic is probably the best thing if he's doing a forward jump and possibly a air tactic. Okay? Okay, and the next move I want to discuss is just the normal Jaguar kick. Now these are the bane of Goken. They're really hard to stop and he just continually does them, they're safe. Here your super is a 3 frame start up and you still can't punish them. So they're safe and spammable and armor breaking so it's really hard to stop him from doing things. Okay? So the main thing, since we can't punish them, we will have to look at stuffing them which means stopping them before they hit, come out, you know? Okay, so the main things that I'm going to try using is normals to stuff them. An EX Tatsu will probably be too risky. Um, so, medium punch, standing medium punch, is pretty good for stopping them. Now, as you can see, he's doing the, I think it's the like version which travels the farthest. Now, that seems easy, easier to, uh, to stuff. Standing medium kick also does a pretty good job, throwing him out there. That seems easier to stuff than the closer versions, I found. Crouching Heavy Punch, that seems to work pretty well. I can seem to do it on reaction. Although I, although you want to take it with a bit of a grain of salt, because I know he's going to do this. You know? Um, standing Heavy Punch seems to work, but it trades more often than not. But it's a pretty even trade. You both lose about the same health. Uh, standing Heavy Kick seems to work pretty well too. And it's, if it trades, it's an even trade. Okay, so if he does a different type of one of those, like that high one, that one's a bit more difficult to stuff. You can still do it, but your moves are a lot harder to stuff. So basically, you don't want to throw out too many pokes at really close range. It doesn't go very far. So the longer he travels, the more time you've got to stuff it, basically. So if he does the medium one, you probably have a harder time to stuff it than the light kick one, but an easier time to stuff it than the heavy kick one. Oh, that was confusing. Okay, and you want to use standing medium kick, standing heavy kick, crouching heavy punch, standing heavy punch, you know, all your, all your normals really. Now an EX one, that is a lot faster and that's a lot harder to, to punish. Um, you can still be punished. The main thing that I think you want to do is try and stay within range so that he goes on to the other side of you. Now this is probably easier said than done, because staying in that range is pretty dangerous. Stop 
But if you do manage to, if he does manage to go over you, then you can at least punish him with a full combo or a throw setup or something. Okay. So the next move I want to discuss is just the rise in Jaguar. Now this move is just going to be treated the same as the Shoryuken. You want to bait it out and then punish it. And I believe if he does an EX1 and you do an EX Tatsu, he will win. Okay. Um. So here you can see the different types of movement that the Ryzen Jaguar do. They're pretty much all forward momentum based. None of them go very vertical like Shoryukens do. And so, jump for me Go can jump. Okay, so if you jump vertically when he's really close, let's say if you knocked him down and he does one of these, if you time it correctly he will, he will go the opposite side of you and you'll get a full punish. You want to take this with a pinch of salt as well, it's not tested, but it seems like a thing which happened to me occasionally when I was fighting in those matches, and it seems like a worthwhile thing to know. Okay, Jaguar Tooths. Now these are pretty pain in the backside as well. Um, these are pretty hard to punish as well. That standing medium kick is 3 frames, that start up of that super is 3 frames, and it's really hard to punish. Although you can punish it. Now the basic premise is, the, the earlier he hits you before he hits the ground, the more punishable it is. So there's a punish, but I wouldn't recommend doing that, but it is available if you want to risk it. Now the main punish that I like to do is just jump back, medium kick. If you're closer to the middle when he does it, then you can be close enough to get a full damage combo on him like that. A standard heavy punch will stuff it as well, but that's quite risky as well. Has to be quite well timed. Okay, now now just some little things. The beginning of a match you probably want to do, I like to do, a medium punch Hadouken because that will stop his uh, Jaguar kicks if he tries to do one, it will stop his Jaguar tooth if he also tries to do that. Now you don't want to do that if he has EX, which he has four bars here. He will do that and it will go straight through you or he can do an EX Jaguar tooth and that will go straight through you as well. Well straight through the fireball anyway. I believe the only punish that he can do if he doesn't have EX is to just dash forward underneath your fireball, like that. So you want to be careful of that. Don't do it too often. Now Aiden's Ultras, now he's got two, but the second one is basically just an extension of his combo. Okay, so forget about that one. Uh, Ultra 1 is a fire anti-fireball Ultra, okay? From really far away, he can go over your fireballs. And this includes a medium pink fireball. Accurately timed, he just goes through it, it's invincible. But his Ultra 2 is basically just an extension of his combo, so he does a Rising Jaguar FADC Ultra, that's all it is really, so you don't have to worry about that. And so the last thing I need to discuss, oh we're on the end now nearly, the extra little thing is Adon's Fuzzy Guard, he's got a little one. A Fuzzy Guard is where you have to do like an instant overhead. So there, he's got that, it's a pretty easy one to do as well, and he can combo it into an Air Jaguar kick. So that's like a Fuzzy Guard plus one, so that's really annoying. So I'm just telling you of it, I don't know any way to stop it, obviously he'll do it when you don't expect it, of course, but um, be careful, okay? Okay, so we're at the end of the video. Hopefully there was some magical secret tech in there which will help you fight Adon. I'm going to have to try and learn and adapt. I want to fight that guy again after I feel like I have know the matchup a bit better. Thank you for watching.